Hey you guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box with Matt behind the camera. Now we are in California on the west coast of the USA because we are exploring San Diego. We're kicking things off here at the Cabrillo Isle Marina and we're gonna climb aboard a speedboat with the guys at Speedboat Adventures here in San Diego. I'm so excited you guys. We're gonna be seeing San Diego from a different angle. I hear we're gonna get a pretty sick view of the USS Midway. tour went for about an hour and a half now you guys you have to drive the speedboats yourself and if you're a little bit worried about it don't be they're really low to the water as our guide said it's virtually impossible to flip them and he said he had given it a fair shake we got to explore the harbor really see the city from a different angle and it was so much fun so if you are looking for kind of an adventure activity and a really cool tour a great way to kick things off and see San Diego I highly recommend <music> San Diego is home to over 70 miles of pristine beaches stretching along the Pacific Ocean. It also boasts over 100 lively and distinct neighborhoods for you to explore. Not only that, but it has an incredible food scene, rich history, fascinating culture, and there is so much to see and do, you guys. We are just going to scratch the surface on this trip, but we're gonna do our best to find you some of the best, starting right here at the USS Midway Museum. Midway is a historical naval aircraft carrier museum located here in downtown San Diego. Now this place is fantastic. It is so much fun. You can wander around the flight deck. You can get into the belly of the ship. You can visit up close and personal with helicopters like there are all around us. There's a range of jets down there. There are more planes underneath. You can even see where soldiers slept. It's absolutely incredible and Matt and I are having a blast exploring it. Now it's around $23 per adult to come and see and what I love about it is you see that there are a lot of veterans employed here and they have just got big smiles on their faces they are so happy to be here and be working and be talking about something they're passionate about so as you move around if you do have any questions be sure to ask some of the veterans because their faces just light up and it's so cool to connect with them Now just a short walk up from the USS Midway Museum, you will find Carnita's Snack Shack. I love this place. The people who work here are so, so lovely. Valerie, our server has just been amazing. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> so the food here is delicious. Now their specialty is pulled pork and they're serving up some really hearty American style eats. So, you know, your sandwiches, your tacos, they've got mac and cheese, tater tots, really yummy food that's just going to fill your belly and give you that really American experience. Now it's fast food, but it's not like fast junk food. It's real food. So it's served up quick, but it comes have fresh delicious packed full of veggies guacamole sriracha they've got mocktails cocktails a bar at night this place comes alive they've got cornhole all kinds of fun to be having here guys and the food you know me I've got my veggie tacos Matt's gone for the pulled pork special but we've gone for a bit of spice in these I can see the peppers oh, I live for Mexican food it's my favorite mm. oh. The tortilla is incredible. It's a calm one, I think. It's so delicious. That guac is fresh. The veggies, so good. Look at him, he's just out for a go at the beach. Good on you, sweetie. Now we are here at Sunset Cliffs. We've just done a drive along Sunset Cliff Boulevard, just checking out the views, stopping and jumping out of the car wherever we like. 
because this area is really gorgeous. These cliffs are super dramatic. Now there are some that you can actually get into at low tide. It's high tide now, so we couldn't do them, but there's some great walks we can go down. Um, one is like an open ceiling cave. It looks stunning and I really wanted to do it. But like I said, it is high tide, so not accessible for us. One other thing I would say about these cliffs is that they are a little bit unstable towards the edges. So if you do visit, just walk along where you're allowed to and where the signs are and don't, don't, don't go too close to the edge or you could run into trouble. Today the weather is not the best. It's meant to be sunny in San Diego 360 days of the year and the couple that we are here are of course, they, yeah, they are the days where it's overcast but on sunny days this would just be stunning and even if it is overcast today it's still beautiful. Now I hear given that it's called Sunset Cliffs, this is the spot for sunset. So if you are here on a sunny day, make sure you come down, bring a little bit of a picnic or something. This would just be a killer spot. You got something, something I can never be without, yeah. I'm in your command, thought I was a man of my own. Ocean Beach, also known as OB, is a vibrant bohemian neighborhood here in San Diego. Now we've just gone for a walk along the main streets. There are cafes, shops, actually setting up the farmer's markets, which is held every Wednesday from 4 to 8 p.m. There are people here in the park behind me slacklining, cracking whips, doing all kinds of stuff. The pier, of course, is great for a walk. If it was a beautiful sunny day, that would be a fantastic spot. And I have a feeling it would be amazing for sunset as well. You've got bars, you've got plenty to see and do. This is a really lovely neighborhood. Um, I just wish it was a little more sunny. <laughs> Ocean Beach was your bohemian vibe, La Jolla is more of your upmarket destination. Now we are here on Girard Avenue and Prospect Avenue just behind us and these are your main shopping streets. So this is where you want to come with all your high-end boutiques, there's beautiful restaurants around this area. We're going to grab dinner here soon. We also popped down to La Jolla Cove where we visited the sea lions, they were so cute. I really identify with them and their whole beach lazy aesthetic, that's really me you guys. <laughs> We just had the best dinner here at Puesto in La Jolla. Every meal here is just better than the last and that one was no exception. The margaritas were absolutely delicious. The tacos were fantastic. Now they're made with blue corn. They have, some, they have this beautiful non-GMO aspect. So when you eat them, they just go ugh, sliding down and everything is so, so flavorsome. They had the most amazing guac in there too. It had like these candy walnuts, pomegranates, mango stuff you would never think to put in guac and it was fantastic now if you are looking for a great meal here in san diego i absolutely recommend this place the staff are fantastic it's a beautiful restaurant and the food is second to none absolutely loved it but right now we are going to get our nightlife on yes we're going to drag our over 30 butts out and we're going to go check out the gas lamp quarter and i have a feeling that we're going to find a very good bar <laughs> Now this is a 16 and a half block historical neighborhood in downtown San Diego. You guys, the streets here are alive with pubs, bars, and live music. And you know that this is the heart of fun in San Diego because it is home to schedule events like Mardi Gras. So you know it absolutely goes off. And I have the perfect bar for us to end the night in. <laughs> music it had such an inclusive fun welcoming atmosphere down there 
Matt and I just had a ball. We were like, we'll only save her a little bit, but we loved it. We saved ages. Amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. So that is the end of our first day in San Diego. We have seen and done so much and we've had a blast doing it. Now it's time for bed because we have another jam-packed day tomorrow and I can't wait to show you more of this incredible city. Good morning, you guys. So we are starting our second day in San Diego with coffee and bagels here from Portside Coffee and Gelato. We were just driving past and this place looks so good. Oh my gosh. I love the North American bagel culture. It's just the way we should all be living. Bagels are life and this coffee is fantastic. So right now we're gonna kick off the day with our first activity. Let's go to the San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo has been voted the number one zoo in the world and for good reason. This place is beautiful. Now Matt and I have just done the inside look tour where you get to go behind the scenes and that's something you guys can do as well. I mean we just had some one-on-one -on -one time with an expert. We got to see things that other people don't get to see. Get a little more up close and personal with some of the animals. I got to feed a Galapagos turtle. It was incredible and the amount of things you learn it's phenomenal. So you know Matt and I talk about um, animal tourism and experiences a lot and personally I don't qualify a zoo like this as an animal tourism experience at all. The amount of conservation work that the San Diego Zoo are doing are unbelievable. Take California condors for example, there was a point where they were just about extinct. There are only 20 left in the wild and they have now gotten those numbers right back up to 500. That is incredible. So without the efforts of zoo staff like here at San Diego we would lose so many animals so there is so much that they are doing and the zoo is actually a not-for-profit organization so all the money that you spend while you're here it goes back into everything that you see and when they make money above and beyond that goes back out into the community to help others so rest assured this is the perfect way to educate yourself get that bit more of social awareness really connect with the animals and see something you may never have seen before Park was first established in 1868 as a 1400 acre parcel called City Park, later renamed Balboa Park. Now you guys, it is free to come here and then you'll find some attractions that you have to pay admission for. So some of the museums and galleries and some of the gardens too. Now Matt and I love our gardens or maybe I love gardens and Matt just loves me so he comes to the gardens. So that's mostly what we've been doing here. We came to the Friendship Garden which is the Japanese garden and I love a Japanese garden. It's so peaceful and tranquil in here. Now when it came to getting around we were a bit tired so we decided to hire some of those bird scooters all we did was download the app there's some free wi-fi in the air pick up a mat check into the visitors center plan out a few of the spots that you'd like to visit there's lots of great architecture great places to eat and lots of cool things to see the vibrant neighborhood of hillcrest stands as san diego's lgbtqia plus hub there are lots of restaurants pubs, cafes, bars, there are some fantastic boutiques and if you really like thrift shopping they've got some of those more high-end thrift stores. Now I know it's really really lame but I really like Whole Foods <laughs> so Matt had never been and I just took him to one and he had lost his mind. I have stocked up on so many organic dark chocolate peanut butter cups and non-sweetened green tea. I don't even know who I am sometimes. <laughs> We are here at Starry Lane Bakery in Hillcrest and this place is free, makes food that is free of all the top 10 allergens. So we're talking about gluten, dairy, soy, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, the works. <laughs> Everything you can think of, so I don't exactly know what they're made on. But... Mm. Normally, allergen free cupcakes are really, really chewy and dense, so light. So delicious, tastes exactly like a regular cupcake. I'm so glad I got one to go. This thing we got is I know I love it. No need for it to stop. We just had 
dinner at Waypoint Public here in North Park. Now this place is famous for its burgers. They have these really cool big rolling window things which I can imagine in the really warm months they would open those up. People would be hanging out over there everywhere having a belter of a time. So now we're gonna head back to our hotel and get a good night's sleep. Good morning you guys. So it is the start of our third and final day here in San Diego. We've got a little bit of sun out finally. Sun out, guns out. <laughs> and we are kicking off the day here at the Cabrillo National Monument. Let's take a look. On a wind where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Can't touch the bottom the Cabrillo National Monument celebrates the landing of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo in San Diego Bay on September 28, 1542. Now this was the first time a European had set foot on what would later become the western coast of the United States of America. And now it is a fantastic place to visit here in San Diego. So we've got the lighthouse you can visit, there's a great visitor center, you've got the commemorative statue behind me and the views here are just incredible. Point Loma is just stunning. It's one of the most beautiful places I've seen in San Diego so far. The views all around of the water are insane. And it's really cool to see an important piece of America's history. In the water feels like a friend I've not seen. We have come back here to Sunset Cliffs and look at the difference you guys. Sun is shining, blue sky, you can see the water is clear. Set in a 1920s era naval base commissary, the Liberty Public Market brings together over 30 local artisans. It is a hub for fantastic food, drinks, and some arts and crafts too. I even saw a very cute store for dogs. Now this is the place to come if you love an eating tour, which Matt absolutely does. He loves to rove around the market and try lots of different things. So there is everything and anything here. You've got tacos, you've got beautiful smokehouse pork, you've got empanadas, there's Thai food, there's even things like gumbo and mac and cheese and oh boys. So anything and everything you can dream up. If you love food, this is your destination. We are here at Cafe Coyote in Old Town and this place is pumping. Now it has been one of San Diego's landmark restaurants for over 30 years and it was voted best Mexican restaurant 15 years in a row. The tortillas are hand rolled fresh, you can see the ladies preparing them. There are over a hundred types of tequila on the menu for your mug. You know I love my frozen mugs. There is this big fat guac bowl right in front of us. Matt's got something all chorizo and cheesy. This is just incredible. The staff are fantastic. It's a great street side location in Old Town. What more could you want? It is the perfect way to end. Alright you guys, and with that, our time in San Diego has come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say hello in the comments below. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Love ya.